good morning everyone or good day we are right now at an intersection so i have to pay attention so i can go left before i lose my chance there you are um but so i um started my day going to the gym as always had my coffee and only coffee and i decided to go to canadian tire and check on a picnic table so i want to see the size i want to see if the stove is going to fit on it and if the table is actually going to fit in my car <laughs> after i use it <laughs> Yes, because the reality is that I don't have much space in Elantra and I don't like clutter and I don't like having things that I don't need in Elantra. But if I have things that I need, it's not clutter, of course. But too much is too much space taken from the little comfort I can get for, my, for myself. <laughs> so yes, and I already have a little space for myself and I don't want to use the inside of Elantra for for more than what it is that is the bedding the backpacks with um, all my camera gear and the backpack with all my toiletries my gym bag and also the heater and the jaggery so those are the things that I want to keep inside my car. I don't want to keep anything else inside. Everything else should be either in the trunk or on the cargo box. Um, let's see if I'm lucky to get that table, finally. So I got the table and it's flat. I, I showed uh, more or less how it works, um, how you fold it and unfold it. Um, and actually I love the fact that it can go on top of the step ladder. So there is plenty of room for the table there. I was actually going to bring it see if it fits the car and if it didn't i was going to return it because i can't have anything that doesn't fit the car <laughs> yeah so i am happy about that because it has a good height it's not too high and it's not too um too short and it fits the trunk and it fits also the the stove with the propane that is a plus that is what i need and alhamdulillah i got it so no, there shouldn't be a problem with uh, cooking somewhere where I don't have a table. And it seems to be that either is snowing, like barely snowing, lightly, uh, but it's a wet snow or it's raining right now. I'm not sure about what the case is. And I'm going to try and fly the drone if where I'm going is not raining or snowing. I just flew the drone at a park and farther away, I reached one kilometer this time. I don't know how I dared to do it, but I did dare to do it and I flew the drone one kilometer away and to the maximum altitude. 
uh, that I could reach. I think I have to check the settings because it should go farther and higher than what I fly the drone. And I love it because when I start flying the drone, this big truck um, right next to me um, parked and the gentleman comes with his um, uh, hiking poles and asked me, did you get to fly it? And he stayed with me because he was very interested in um, knowing about the EGI drone. Uh, so we were chatting for a few minutes until the drone came back and uh, it, was a, it was a nice chat. It was, it was good. I, I love uh, chatting with, uh, with people randomly and, and sharing, even if it's small moments. It's, it's really good. I like it. It's the perfect example of why is it that I don't plan anything in my life anymore? Because I was thinking about, I got the table so I can go park anywhere and cook whatever I want. Um, but I didn't have bread and I was close by this um, bread, bread co co coffee place right here and I was close by and I said okay I'm going to get I'm going to see what they have and I found a sourdough bread which has been a while since the last time I had a sourdough bread from a bakery and I wanted to try another bakery since the last time I tried the one I bought in one of my vlogs for breakfast um, back in winter winter <laughs> So um, I stopped, I asked for sourdough bread and they had one left and I was there and I said, okay, I need to have coffee. I, I really, today is a day where I want to indulge myself and buy a coffee. And so I did. They had hazelnut latte, not even at Starbucks. I can get hazelnut lattes. Uh, it's been ages since the last time they had hazelnut available. So, with that said, um, all the plans about cooking are gone through the drain and I'm just going to have sourdough bread with my coffee. And this is the view I have today. We are going to sit down, open and test this bread which seems to be that it was kind of warm because still a little bit of condensation inside the, the bag. It's already sliced, which is so much better. I could even toast this bread with butter, but I'm too lazy to do it because now it is um, minus one and I'm kind of cold here. I didn't put a jacket on and I don't want to either. I don't even have socks. <laughs> on because I thought it was going to be a better day temperature wise uh, but it's not so cheers mm. really good Because, mm. The coffee is fantastic, honestly, really good. Um, I don't know what's going to happen when the weather gets better. Right now it's very inconsistent. It was very gloomy. Now we have a little bit of sun, um, but it was snowing <laughs> earlier today as well. So. Yes, you never know what is going to happen. I have been postponing the tour of my car video, updated tour of my car, um, which is good because at the same time I have been reorganizing everything and putting everything um, where I need it, when I need it, and what I need the most um, is in the trunk. One thing that I forgot to mention about what I want inside my car is also my clothes. My clothes are 
all inside my car. I don't know if you remember, I mentioned that in one of my vlogs. It's not on the, it's not in the cargo box anymore. It's actually in the car. And um, everything is going to be part of the tour. But I haven't been able to do it because I never know. Right now, I didn't even think that the sun was going to come out. And it did. So with that said, um, when the weather is more stable, then yes, I will, I will uh, film that tour of my car. And um, another thing is that I don't know what's going to happen in summer. I don't know if I'm going to be able to travel as I was thinking about doing, um, as I did last year as well. But um, one thing that I know is that it has taken me quite a while for me to find a kind of a routine while living in my car. And the fact that I have a gym and I go minimum Monday through Friday and of course, Saturday and Sunday are shower only if I don't work out because I realize that my body needs to have a rest. I can't go every single day of the week. But um, it's been tough finding a routine that makes me feel comfortable about myself and about my life conditions. So. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to travel and live uh, in the wilderness again because I don't want to lose that routine that I set for myself that has improved <clears throat> my day-to-day -day life as much as possible for the time being. And I, I feel better about myself and about my life so yes, I don't know what is going to happen in summer. I may be just traveling around the city um, to further areas and enjoying what I love doing. But being able to the next day, start my day as always uh, by preparing my greens, going to the gym, taking a shower, then making coffee and so on and so on. As I posted in my community tab, I've always had very clear that I need to live my life as a warrior and live every day as if it were the last day of my life. And maybe it is, you never know. I can be vlogging right now and drop dead in a second. You never know. And that's the reality. We don't decide when we come to this world and we don't decide when we leave it. And one of the things that has happened with me in the last few months is that I am unable to, for example, chatting with my friend that right now I was with her for about one hour on the phone. Um, if she tells me, let's do this in, um, in let's say, six months from now, it's like I, I, I'm unable to commit to something that I don't know if I'm going to be able to do in six months from now. And that is because my life has changed so drastically from one day to another that I don't know if I don't want to make promises to someone and then when the date comes, I'm not going to be there to fulfill my promise. And so I, I realize I have changed a lot in that sense. And probably is because, yeah, commitment. I'm not afraid of commitment, but I'm afraid of not being able to do something that I promised I was going to do. And I believe that's part of the healing process of anything that you need to heal 
or anything that you need to heal from. And realizing that we need to stop doing things that may not make us happy. Because I will, I will always commit to something that I know is going to make me happy. Right now I know it's going to make me happy and I can't wait for that to happen. Things that given me uncertainty, I'm not able to commit anymore. I don't know. It's like, I don't even know if I'm expressing exactly what I need to express. But at the end of the day, um, I make the decisions, short-term decisions right now, because I don't know where I'm going to be. Tomorrow, <laughs> let alone a year from now. That's the truth. That's the reality. And I don't think that anyone can tell me right now. No one can tell me where anyone is going to be a year from now. Yes. Um, in the past, I knew that I had to live my life without expectations or without plans. Yes, dreams, as someone mentioned, and I agreed. Dreams can change. Um, and plans can change as well, but sometimes when you plan something, it's because you really want it, and if it doesn't go your way, you get disappointed, and you get hurt or broken, depending on what the plan was. I, I always knew, and I always especially a few years back, I knew that I needed to live one day at a time. But at the same time, it's like the flow of having that normal life routine, what is considered normal, living in your apartment or in your house and driving to work and coming back, preparing dinner, uh, watching something on the TV or on the computer while you have dinner or having a good chat with your family and then brushing your teeth and going to bed. Um, and the next day, the same routine. So when, when you have that normal life, it's like you get caught in your life and you forget about plans don't depend on you, depend on in my case, my belief is depend on God because we have our destiny already written. And so it can change at any point. It can change, but only God can change it. But now that I don't have that normal routine, um, it made me remember and actually remember and, and with more certainty that Plans are not a thing for someone to make. And living day by day is the healthiest way of living. That's it. That's about it. And that's how every day I'm reminding myself I will live the rest of my life. Regardless of me living in my car or living in an SUV or living in a beautiful apartment, penthouse or whatever it is. You can't program your life because your life is already programmed. And the healthiest way of living your life is day by day, one day at a time. And every day, as it were, the last day of your life because it might be. <laughs> I still need to get to that part of living every day as if it were the last day of your life, because that would be living your every day the fullest. Yeah. 
I will get there one day. Inshallah. Another reason why I don't know if I'm going to be traveling is because now Elantra is my home and if, I don't know, I'm afraid that if I go in the highway um, I may even have an accident or something and lose my home. There's so many stories I've heard even in my comments about that happening and I can't allow that happening. I have to be very careful right now. So when I feel safe enough, confident, even though I know, alhamdulillah, I'm a good driver, but it's not about you being a good driver, it's about you, the drivers around you. But once I feel confident, once I know I, maybe once I know I can afford another vehicle if this one is totaled, <laughs> maybe that day I will <laughs> travel long distances again. Alantra has been so reliable and beautiful to me. I can't complain. It is a blessed car. No doubt about that. So. With this said. I'm sorry I didn't cook. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't test the table today. But we will. In the next vlog. Inshallah. I'll see you next week. Inshallah. Salam alaikum.